Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel, another 7 days to that video. In the last one I showed you guys how I set up this little defense system with the electric fence, the trip wire, the sirens, the trash can lights, all that. So it kind of works like this, lights up the area, makes a whole bunch of noise, and will shock the hell out of anything that walks in front of it. But a lot of people had some really good questions for that, and that is, how much heat will this raise the general area? How much will this actually attract zombies? Because surely having this much light and sound coming will bring them in from far and wide and just end up with an endless horde of it. So I thought I would test that out. But first, I wanted to show you guys where I'm at on the map. Some people thought this was a really good place to go. The coordinates of my house is at 1347 north, 255 east is right here, which if you look at where the school is right over here, it's just kind of catty corner like southeast of it. All right, and to be able to test this out, what I did is I came back over to my testing ground over here at the football stadium because it's a nice big flat area be good to work with. And I set up this quick little setup here. I got two sirens and I got two mobile spotlights up here. And around it is hooked up to each one is connected to their own switch. This switch will control both lights. You can see the cables running to them. And this switch will control both speakers they're run to a battery bank and that's a real simple setup but that way i can turn one on and not the other i'm doing two on each one of them instead of just one just to see if it'll go up at all because most people are probably going to have more than one going at the same time anyway and this will see if it will raise it and as per normal with these testing i've got the heat over there on the far left and i'll blow it up on the screen so you can see a little bit bigger but you can see right now the area is at 0.3. This is where I did some turret testing and of course opening and closing the battery bank made it go up a little bit. But we'll test it out first. We're going to start off with the lights. So we'll flip on the spotlights, make sure they're both actually on. Okay, so we've got both spotlights. And you see the heat did not go up at all. So that's really good. Alright, so we'll turn the lights off. And you see it doesn't change the heat with that. Alright, now let's try these speakers. Okay, we got two speakers going. Both of them going at the same time, and it's not raising the heat up at all either. So I'm, I haven't really sat here and let it run for more than oh maybe about 30 seconds at a time, just because it's annoying. But I haven't seen it raise the heat up at all. So as far as the general way that it attracts zombies in there via the heat, it didn't go up at all. So now let's test to see if they'll actually attract the zombies. Okay, so I have a couple zombies over here. I put them out right in the middle of the field. So they're kind of just aimlessly wandering on. All right, I'm going to flip the light on and see that light is shining far enough to actually get their attention. Now, just having the light on by itself is not getting their attention. Let me let me try something right here. Okay, let's gain control of this. Let's point it right at the zombies and see if I can get their attention by waving it at them. See if maybe they see the light and they'll come towards it. Now, I know the zombies with the new stealth system will go towards light that you've created, but I think that's along the lines of like your forge and your campfire things that actually generate heat. So I've got both spotlights pointing at these things and neither one of them are doing anything. So you can see right now I'm still undetected. They're still just aimlessly wandering around. All right, now let's see what they do if I turn the speakers on here. Let's see if they get alerted and actually come towards it or not. I'm still undetected right now. Heat hasn't gone up at all. Neither one of them seem to even notice that the speakers are even going off, much less coming over towards it. And I know they can hear it that far away because it's only about 15 yards from where I'm standing. So it'll give it just a little bit longer just to see if maybe you know, they're kind of hard of hearing and they got to wander in a little bit closer to see if they can actually hear it. So where'd, where'd the other lady go? The other lady just vanished. I don't even know where she went. Let's walk around over here and see if she's a little bit more visible on this side. No, the first first zombie just up and disappeared. I guess the sirens scare her completely off. But he is wandering off towards the scoreboard. He has no idea what's going on. What about we turn both of them on here? Okay, hey, well, let's let's try and test this out a little bit more. Let's get some more zombies in here. Okay, got a group of zombies in here. They're a little bit closer than the last ones. I got three different kinds of zombies. They still don't know why I'm here. I got the lights on and the siren going, and they're only 10 yards away from me. I put them on like the 10 yard line, and I'm at the, I'm at the end of the end zone here. So you can see, they're not that far away. Okay, she's hunted, but she sees me now. So let's see. Okay, so shooting the gun off, raised the heat up by just a little bit. But neither one of those zombies seems to have any indicators to anything going on at all. They're still completely undetected here. Okay, so what I did was I spawned in two zombies right on the other side of this wall here to see if they could actually find me. 
So she's kind of wandering around the general area, but she doesn't know where I'm at. And so she doesn't come, she's not coming towards me until she actually sees me. The other zombie still has no idea what's going on. Let's see if I can even see where she's at. Yeah. Okay, so she's on the right on the goal line here. She's literally like 15 feet away from me, basically, and she has no idea what's going on either, so... Okay, well that pretty much wraps up the testing on here. The heat went up in case you're seeing it now, it's at 0.7. That's just because I finished shooting them. So, you know, every time you shoot your gun off a few times, it goes up a little bit. So that's why it went up, not because of any actual sound that was produced on these things. So, for everybody that was curious about having the sirens running and the mobile spotlights running at their house with the tripwires, like I showed in the last video about it attracting other zombies, as far as I can tell here, there is no indicator that it attracts them at all. Now, do keep in mind, this is in the, the uh, B129 experimental version of Alpha 16. When the final release of Alpha 16 comes on, this entire concept could be completely irrelevant at that point. And of course, if it is, then I'll do an update video to show how it actually works out. But as of right now, you can line up as many of these around your base as far as I can tell and it won't attract anything. I mean, if you think I did something wrong or you think there was a better way I could have possibly tested it, you know, drop it in the comment section down below and let me know. Or, you know, if you found that video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss on future videos. Thanks for all the suggestions on testing these out. I love hearing from you guys. You guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. This video is brought to you by TubeBuddy. If you're a content creator on YouTube, I highly recommend this tool. TubeBuddy is a free browser plugin that works directly with your YouTube page so you don't even have to leave your channel dashboard to use it and will completely transform how you manage your channel, such as tag rankings to see where your tags rank and even suggest new ones to improve search results. Use a social monitor to see who's sharing your videos with advanced scheduling tools, thumbnail generator, and even bulk editing options for cards, annotations, end cards, and video descriptions. You can make changes to your entire video library with a simple few clicks. So if you run a YouTube channel, you should definitely install it and see what it can do for your channel. Go to TubeBuddy.com cap0 to install it for free today.